Hey guys, it's uh, Leif here from uh, iTech. Today I'm going to show you how to you can configure the Konica Minolta B sub device uh, to so you can access it remotely using the uh, web panel or the remote panel. So what we're going to do first is uh, we need to do a couple of things to prepare the uh, the device. So we're going to look up the IP address uh, in our web browser and log into admin mode. So I've just got the web page there and I'm gonna log in and type the admin password 12345678 12345678 and I'm gonna log in and this procedure basically works on uh, on uh, pretty much all the i3 Konica and Alta BSAB models so first of all we're gonna go into security and then we're gonna create a new certificate so we're going to go new registration, create and install a self-signed certificate. Uh, in these values you can just type in anything there, they don't really have any uh, significance, you just have to fill something out in all these fields. Uh, one thing to remember, I normally set the validity period here to 3650, which is the longest, just to make sure it never expires, and we'll hit OK and uh, now SSL can be used so I hit OK to there certificate has been created and installed next step is to click on uh, the next menu down SSL setting and I'm gonna set this to admin mode so mode using SSL TLS not sure if that's a hundred percent necessary but I'll do that anyway good practice and uh, click if you get this message up say proceed and OK I'm now going to go down to certificate verification settings so we're just about uh, done and I'm going to turn the certificate verification settings off just to uh, get rid of that uh, warning message on the certificate before and hit OK on that and the last thing we're going to do now to get the remote panel up and working is to enable the uh, remote panel uh, server setting so we're going to go into network so click on the network tab I'm going to scroll right down and we're going to see on the left hand side there we have remote panel settings so click on that and uh, click down or scroll down to remote panel server setting click on that and we're going to turn that on so the server setting we're going to turn that on and OK and this is the last step so now I'm going to uh, hit OK on that. I'm going to log out. And I'm just going to note the uh, IP address here, 192.168.237, or the device IP address. I'm just going to type in the full URL now to access the panel. Uh, 37. So it's basically HTTPS, make sure you have the S in there, column forward slash forward slash, the IP address, column, and then you have this, uh, type it in exactly like this, this is the default port number, and then you're going to add on panel and top HTML. You can just copy that, I'll leave it in the bottom comment section, but enter there, and you can see I'm now operating the panel remotely on the device so that's it good luck 